lovely friends, welcome back to my channel, or if it's your first time here, hi, my name is Melissa, or Missa. I'm a 31 year old beauty addict from Scotland, which is the coolest place on earth. Today, as you can see with the title, we've got another palette review. This is the new Lois Cosmetics Meet Me at Midnight palette. I've reviewed her previous palette, which was Meet Me in the Underworld. I'll link it down below. But this is the Meet Me at Midnight. That packaging is very, very pretty. I really like that. And then, if I open it, it has a big mirror. And then this is what the palette looks like. After the absolute hype of Meet Me in the Underworld, I did feel a little bit like, mm, meh, meh, actually quite a lot. Like, that colour story just, it's not for me. I didn't get that excited about it, to be quite honest. And then the Beauty Bay palettes launched and they just took over the world and are incredible. So I wasn't like super hyped about this palette, but I've watched a few reviews on it. I've watched Anielica review it, Teresa. A couple of my sausages have done stunning looks with this. Kerry with a K on screen and then Kerry with a C also on screen did these looks with it and I just was blown away by how beautiful they were and how gorgeous they made this palette look so it made me more excited to try it and then it arrived in PR this morning and I immediately thought right well so just try it see what you think I think sometimes you'll see something online and you're like meh and then it shows up and you feel a bit differently and I definitely do so yeah this is what the palette looks like it's a 16 pan palette and as with all of my reviews I'm going to swatch this palette we do this look on my eyes and then I'm going to give you my final thoughts at the end of the video. I just want to say a massive thank you to Lois for sending it to me um, in PR. Um, Lois Cosmetics is like a one woman brand. She does everything on her own. It's, it's phenomenal. It's really cool to get PR from indie brands and to get to try them out more. So yeah, let's jump into me swatching it. I wonder if my battery will survive for me to swatch it and then we'll carry on. You know what I mean. I do just faff sometimes, don't I? I haven't swatched this at all. Okay, first up we have Phase. That's a very pretty shade of lavender. I will swatch them all at least like once, twice, but I might not show it. We have New Day. I used this a lot today and it was very nice. I'm not actually sure how these are going to swatch, so I am actually quite excited to see that. Then we have Tonight, which you can probably tell I used a lot in today's look, obviously, how could I not? Inky, this palette is very shimmer heavy, it's majority shimmers. Next row we have Illuminate, Half Moon, this is like the lightest shimmer in here. We have Nocturnal, and Ambiguous. Okay, third row we have Guided, one of my favourite shades, Mysterious. This goes on the eye very, very well. Another shade I need to do this look with, but put this all over my lid, Witching Hour. And then Nightfall. These shimmers are swatching really well. We have Disturbed. I used this in my look today and I did feel like it needed quite a lot of building up. We have Blood Moon. Yeah, the shimmers don't even need like two swipes. Same stars. That shade is phenomenal. And I haven't even swatched this yet because I didn't use the black today. We have Midnight. And the lowest Cosmetics black in the Meet Me in the Underworld is one of the best blacks. This one has a bit of glitter in it. Okay, so that is the Meet Me at Midnight palette fully swatched. Just, it's not as vibrant and the swatches are not as good, like compared to the recent Beauty Bay swatches that we've done. I think you can probably see that the match, they just don't look as pigmented. The shimmer swatched really, really well. But of course, it's not about swatches, it's how it performs on the eye. But yeah, that is the swatches. That... It's like an old gold shade, that's really, really pretty. Apart from that, this blue is probably my favourite. Okay, I'm not going to waffle. That's the swatches. Let's jump into me doing this look and then I'll give you my thoughts at the end. Hey, yeah, friends. Welcome to another voiceover. Look at, having, look at me having the palette in the background. How professional am I? Morning sausage coffee. Let's get this party started. I've started off with Disturbed. By the way, I've just woken up. It's like 6.30 in the morning. But Chris who's like a joiner, gets up really early and thinks it's a normal time. I don't think it is. So I probably sound sleepy. Anyway, I'm going to put Disturbed 
all around my crease and uh, I want this to be a really round smoky eye so I'm bringing it underneath my lash line as well because that stops me making it all smoked out which is something that just happens to me honestly and then I'm taking Mysterious and I was like mm, are these gonna look good together and yes they do <laughs> they really do uh, I love blue and purple together I'm still learning how to blend blue and purple together perfectly but we live and learn. Oh, let me grab my coffee. Excuse me. Uh, pop this all the way around. Again, I just wanted to do more of like a wearable look with this palette today. And uh, I feel that's what I've achieved. I'm going then in with New Day, which is perfect for blending out that previous shade. And uh, just popping that on. My brows, by the way, are just my Shein brow pen. And the Schwarzkopf got to be eyebrow gel. Honestly, those two products, game changing for brows. Although I've heard thin brows are coming back into fashion. Don't know how I feel about that. Then I'm taking ambiguous because if there's an orange and there's purples, I'm going to blend them together, aren't I? Sunset. So I was actually really pleased to see this orange in here. It's quite a muted, toned down orange, but it works. And uh, it gave me the effect I was looking for. I was just thinking this whole time, like, Lois, put a yellow in here please give me a yellow. And that would have made my life, but like we've always discussed, you can't always get what you want. That's what it looks like. Cute transition, Melissa. Thanks. And I'm just going back in with each and every shade and blending it again to make it look better. I lied, by the way, it's half past eight in the morning. I just looked up and saw the time. <laughs> it's not as early as I thought it was. <laughs> anyway, popping them all on. They honestly like layer up and blend really really well. My only issue is I don't think that blue is like giving me quite the depth I want but I didn't want to go in with black because that would have been too stark a contrast between this shade tonight that I'm going in with. Which I'm packing on with my finger first of all because it's a shimmer and I just think shimmers either go on best with a wet brush or your finger and uh, I felt like I was getting the most kind of shimmer from it using my finger but then I did use a brush just to get up and keep, like keep it a rounded shape on my lid and get right up to the edges and then I used a little tiny weeny fluffy brush just to kind of blend it into the matte blue because I didn't want it to look too like stark and then I used it on a teeny tiny little brush and put it underneath as well because I thought let's just keep it purely blue and then this is an Urban Decay eyeliner but just ignore it, I just wanted it as a base and then I did what I call my Tia trick and put the same blue eyeshadow over that liner just so that it completely matched and was like the same and I just think it's cute on my blue eyes. And then I just go back and have a wee fiddle with the shadows, that's what it looks like. Um, makes my eyes look green, don't have green eyes. Alright, so all my base is on and I put my eyelash glue on. This is from Shop Miss A, it costs £1 and it's amazing and I really like this glue, it's literally second best to my velour glue which I pay £12 for, can you believe that? And then I'm taking Half Moon which is the lightest shimmer in here. Uh, I thought it would work because it's quite a grungy-ish ish look so I thought it wouldn't you know, matter if it was quite a dark inner corner and I did wet my brush as you hopefully just saw just to get more impact but the shimmers are very very good, I need to put my coffee away because I can't actually drink it and sit and do this voiceover at the same time. Lashes on, they're the Mrs. Glam new Be Perfect ones. They came with that like brown palette with a pop of blue. But I've been enjoying the lashes. And then you got to pull your mascara face, pop that on. And then I just used more orange and pink and just blended it round the eyes and just kind of tried to smoke it out a bit more, kind of a la Daniela. And then I took the orange and used it as a bit of a blush because I thought, why not? My brush fits in there and it will match the eyes. And yeah, just kind of fiddled with it a bit more while I was waiting for my eyelash glue to dry. Oh, excuse me, I'm getting a cold. Can you imagine? Yeah, fiddle, fiddle, fiddle. When is it going to end, Melissa? You didn't need to leave this much footage at all. There we go. Didn't even put black eyeliner on. Like, who am I? I do try and not do the same thing every day. So I have finished off all my makeup. I actually filmed all of my base in a 
kind of first impression video with some older stuff as well so that video will be coming after this one I imagine I think that makes more sense I think but if you're wondering what this wonder on my lips is it's Huda Empress and it's stunning meet me at midnight let's talk about it I'm not I'm not 100% okay I love the packaging I love that it also matches my meet me in the underworld obviously they're the same the palette has a nice mirror and lots of lovely shimmers. Where I think this palette falls down is there is no very light highlighting shade for like under the brow or the inner corner. Obviously I've done the purple and I think it goes because it's quite a like smoked out grungy-ish look. So I feel like it works but there's no really light blending shade. Also I feel like Inky and Nightfall are just too similar. Obviously they are different but I feel like they are just a bit too similar to be in the same palette. The black has glitter in it which to be honest isn't my favourite however when you blend a matte that has glitter in it out the glitter does tend to disappear so like that works. Um, and I do think it is too shimmer heavy there's two, four, five, six, six mattes the rest are shimmers and I think that balance is a bit off. However like I said when I first saw this palette I wasn't really blown away by it but having played with it, it is A, prettier in person and B, it performs really, really well. I've really got no issues with it. I've not found any issues with blending. The colours packed on top of each other really nicely. I feel like the blue maybe doesn't look as intense as I was hoping it would. But I think it is very obvious I have a shimmery blue lid. I just think I took out my Mitchell just to compare the blues. Because this Mitchell shade is one of my favourites. So this is Mitchell Eclipse and then this is Lois Twilight there. So I think you can see like the Mitchell just has a bit more to it. It's a, just a bit shinier and I think prettier. All in all maybe that's what I wanted from that blue but saying that it did work really really well. I've got no issues with that at all. Um, it's not going to be a palette for everyone. If you love this colour story and you like to support Lois Cosmetics and you've tried to meet me in the underworld, this will not let you down, I don't think. But yeah, to me it's it's a really nice palette and I, I can think of a few other looks that I want to do with it. Like I want to bring in this really gorgeous like old gold shade somehow. Um, yeah, it's a nice palette. It is a really nice palette. There's nothing wrong with it. It just doesn't blow me away or make me like mega, mega, mega excited. Um... I think that's my thoughts. It's just, it's a nice palette. I'm just not like, oh my goodness, you know, like I was with my new Beauty Bay palettes. Like, I didn't get that kind of rush from this, but quality wise, it is really good. So, yeah, that is my thoughts on the Lois Cosmetics Meet Me in the Un. No, nope, Meet Me at Midnight palette. I'll link my video on the Meet Me in the Underworld down below if you haven't seen that. It's really cool to support indie brands like Lois as a person. Like, you get more of an insight into what it must be like to run a makeup brand and it's cool seeing like a woman like achieve her dreams by launching really cool makeup and it's good to support that so yeah that is my thoughts um i hope you enjoyed today's video if you did please do give it a big thumbs up leave me a comment down below are you gonna buy this have you not what's your thoughts on it and um subscribe if you haven't already i put out three videos a week and i go live on wednesdays for my patreons aka the sexy sausages the link to join is down below and uh, it's a great time got a telegram group a facebook group it's awesome i'm gonna piss off give the cats some lunch yeah i hope i'll catch you on the flip side bye